I am Kristen Kraps. I'm Gia Lott. My name is Donald Jefferson. My name is Makam Basaki. And I'm a proud graduate. And I'm a double HBCU grad. HBCUs are not just the colleges that all the black students go to. These are not where, okay, you couldn't get in anywhere else, so this is where you landed. We have some of the best and brightest minds there are to offer in this world that are coming to HBCUs. Going to Howard is the only reason, like, I have the audacity to think that I can bring my full self to work. When I was younger, I was ahead of my class because I didn't look like the majority. They actually said her being ahead hurts the self-esteem of everybody else, so we would prefer that she's not here. And I was asked to leave the school. So when I got to Howard, I wasn't operating in like this lens of blackness where it was a qualifier like, she's smart for the black girl. It was just, you're good, you're, <laughs> you're smart. And so when I come into the office, I kind of just tap into the confidence that I got at Howard. My first summer was 1997 when Chevron recruited me from Southern University. And one of the, the things that I quickly picked up on as I joined the organization was mentorship. I began to realize that, hey, I don't just need a mentor in my technical space. I need a mentor in career navigation, right? How do I get my career from where I am as an intern and then a new hire to my first supervisor role to my manager role? Like, how do I navigate that? And so I'm proud of the fact that now, where I am in my career, I'm able to recruit at Southern University. We've always had relationships with these schools, but as a part of our racial equity strategy, we stepped up our commitment to them. As a proud graduate of Texas Southern University, it's always a privilege and an honor, and it just re-energizes me to be able to go back on campus for career fairs, uh, to see the future of corporate America, to talk to them about what a career at Chevron could look like, and how my HBC prepared me for where I am today. And it's a way of giving back to the community, but also helping Chevron bring in top talent. We've got folks who are true leaders within this company who came from HBCUs, who are contributing, who are using their unique experiences uh, to add value, to problem solve, and continuing to launch Chevron into our future successes. Florida a and prepared me to be successful in corporate America. Those are the kinds of things that I want people to think about in terms of HBCUs, that it's excellence, black excellence, yes. That's the kind of value that we're bringing every day to, to Chevron and to any company.